Troy Gentry, who was part of the popular country music duo Montgomery Gentry, was killed Friday in a helicopter crash in Medford, New Jersey, where the group was to play that night. He was 50. The group confirmed the death in a statement on its website. The Federal Aviation Administration said in an email that a Schweitzer 269 helicopter crashed near the end of a runway at the Flying W Airport in Medford, about 25 miles south of Trenton. The FAA and the National Transportation Safety Board will investigate. Chief Richard J. Meter of the Medford Police Department said the helicopter had two people on board. The pilot, identified as James E. Robinson, 30, of Meggs, Georgia, made a distress call to the airport before it crashed around 12.40 p.m., he said. The chief said Mr. Robinson was pronounced dead at the scene and Mr. Gentry was taken to Virtua Marlton Hospital and pronounced dead there. The band was set to perform at the airport, which also has a resort. Mr. Gentry formed the duo Montgomery Gentry with Eddie Montgomery whom he met while performing in bands with Mr. Dot Montgomery's brother, the country star John Michael Montgomery. As country was turning muscular and patriotic in the early 2000s, Montgomery Gentry thrived, scoring three platinum albums, Tattoos and Scars, 1999, My Town, 2002, and You Do Your Thing, 2004. On songs like My Town, a southern rock-influenced tale of rural life, and something to be proud of, the military-themed personal pride anthem that was one of the duo's two number one Billboard country songs, Mr. Gentry was the clean-cut, smooth-singing compliment to Eddie Montgomery's thicker drawl. Together, they made dynamism out of country hollers, whether the topic was relationship resilience, if you ever stop loving me or a soldier's physical and psychological scars, didn't I? Even as country music moved away from Montgomery Gentry's rough-hued sound, the duo persisted. Its eighth album, Folks Like Us, was released in 2015. The duo's website described Montgomery Gentry as a representative of the working men that had released blue-collar anthems for what Mr. Montgomery called the good, the bad, the ugly and the party on the weekend. The site added that the songs were about more than just factory workers who like to blow off a little steam. They dig deeper, the site said. They're about passion, for doing a good job, for working hard and playing harder, for being an honorable person, for loving your God, your country, your family and your life. Mr. Gentry was born on April 5, 1967, in Lexington, Kentucky. Details on survivors were not immediately available. Mr. Montgomery and Mr. Gentry were inducted into the Grand Ole Opry in 2009 and into the Kentucky Music Hall of Fame in 2015. We didn't want to be an overnight success like acts that have one or two hits and then go away, Mr. Gentry said on the duo's website. We wanted the longevity like Waylon, Willie, Charlie, Cash, Christopherson. All those cats and they weren't about no dot one hits all the time. They had enough success with their music to be appreciated, to be able to play as long as they wanted to, and they did it the way they wanted to.